You are awake, while those around you still sleep. Let us talk today of your impatience, of the challenge you have in being in this world of fear and chaos. Let us talk of how listening to the inexorable complaints and anger, hatred and vitriol of your brethren against what you perceive to be their saviours is pulling you in a down spiral of negative emotions. Yes, we are in the midst of the Great Awakening. You, our dear ones, our wonderful light worker star seeds, are awake, whilst those around you still sleep. They are in the great deception perception, the illusional delusion of the planet Earth experience. They are in the hypnotized dream state where they are ruled by their ego. We human beings are programmed by words. We human beings are programmed by the repetition of words and images and sounds. At this time in human history, the television is our great programmer. Those who are awakened and see the control mechanism, the powerful influence of the television, do not watch TV. Those who watch TV are programmed by the constant flow of negative information. They're programmed into fear and hatred. Those who are awakened know that there is no great pandemic holding its sway over mankind. They see with their own eyes that people are not dying around them. They question everything. Those who listen to the words of the fake news media believe that many are still dying and that there is greater and greater danger from COVID-19. They wear their masks faithfully, even while alone in the car or walking on the streets. They challenge all who don't wear a mask or social distance. And they do so as if their life depended on others' compliance to invented rules and regulations as if wearing your mask would save your life. You can tell who watches TV and who does not by who wears a mask. So great is the influence of the words and phrases that we are immersed in. Immerse yourself in the negative, low vibrating, repetitive programming of the fake news media and you will be in fear and hatred for you will believe and espouse the views that are disseminated in terminable hour after interminable hour. The ego wants desperately to be right, yet the ego has no discrimination or discernment. Until we see the truth of our entrainment, we believe what we are told. Especially, we have been taught to believe those in authority positions, or those with white coats, stethoscopes, and degrees and diplomas. The ego does not think for itself. It parrots the views of its caretakers, teachers, and the so-called news authorities. It believes practically all it is told, and then, those still in the ego dream state, insist that all agree with their indoctrinated viewpoint. This is indeed a frustrating situation for you. You have tried to tell them your truth, you have tried to tell them your point of view, to show them that they are being told lie after lie after lie, but they will not listen. They do not have an open mind. Their ego, their idea that they have the truth, will not let them allow into their understanding anything that contradicts their deeply entrenched beliefs. Those who are light, they call dark. Those who are dark, they call their saviours. What can you do? They speak as if all should agree with them. They cannot see or allow any other viewpoint than their own. Dear hearts, dear souls, you feel very much alone in this great awakening time. It has been your journey to be different, of a higher vibration, to be alone in your greater understanding all your life. Now it continues. Those who don't know, but think they know, are loudly and haughtily pushing their viewpoint. You who know, and know you know, 
are quiet and humble. You do not force your ideas on others or insist that they think as you do. You realize that each human has been indoctrinated into a dysfunctional, false viewpoint. And this is as it should be. That is what we are here for. This is the nature of the planet Earth experience. To come to Earth with no memory of our divinity. To be indoctrinated with false words and negative attitudes. To react to the world around us. To react to our brethren using the dysfunctional subconscious behavior we have been taught. And to break through from this hypnotic state to the realization of the truth of our entrainment and therefore to freedom. Freedom from false words and fake news. Freedom from our fearful indoctrination. The truth does set us free, for we realize that it is not wise to ever believe anything anybody says unless we have more than their words to go by. And what is that more that we have to go by? It is by going inside and accessing the God, the soul within, that the truth becomes apparent. It is in accessing the divinity, in letting our ego thoughts and misapprehensions go. For then we have eyes to see and ears to hear. The voice of the soul, the voice of the divine, cannot be heard while the ego shouts its untruths raucously. The mind, with all its false entrainment, the indoctrinated, painful thoughts and ideas that the human being is entrained into, cannot be quieted while it goes round and round in the same negative groove. The false teachings must be let go, the mind emptied of all the false words and fake ideas. Then the quiet, still, calm voice of divinity can step in and the truth be revealed. And this is happening to all those who will ascend. They are coming to the realization of the truth of the planet Earth experience. They are realizing they are divine and that being human is a learning experience to bring them from the darkness of entrainment to the light of the realization of the truth. In the meantime, dear ones, how do you behave with your brethren who are so deeply enmeshed in the human fog of illusion, who are still in the deception perception? Smile, shine your light on them, keep your vibration high. Do not attempt to teach them or take an adversarial point of view, for they cannot hear your truth. Your contradictory words will not sway them. They will merely push them further into darkness. Listen, laugh, connect with your brethren at any level or on any mutual subject that is uplifting. Smile at the stranger. Laugh with those you meet. Keep the vibration high. Stay in your quiet and meditative state of peace and enlightenment. And by your very vibration, you will lift the world around you. Answer when you are asked, gently and kindly. Share what they are willing to hear and no more. This time of discombobulation and chaos is rapidly coming to an end. And Lightworkers, Starseeds, you are coming together. You, who have been so alone, are finding each other. You are finding the bliss of communion and camaraderie. That light minds are coming together in love and light is great and magnificent indeed. This is your true destiny, to commune in reverence and joy, in truth, wisdom and discernment with your like-minded brethren. Be calm, be patient, know that all is well in your world. Trust the plan, the divine has all in hand. The light has won. The dark forces are now in the control of the light. They are behaving according to the dictates of the light. And that behavior is crazy indeed. 
for the dark ones have been taught to show their dishonesty and devious behaviour by exaggerating their foolishness. This is necessary to wake your brethren from their dream state. Since they cannot be told the truth, they must be shown the truth. And this is happening now. Mankind is awakening. The great revelation of the truth of his entrainment is underway. How great and glorious is that! Wonderful indeed! Blessings, dear ones, for a whole new world of love and light is emerging, where truth is truth, and the dissemination of false information is no more. That was Ita, channeling her higher self. We are blessed beings indeed. Mm-hmm.